Hello and welcome back to another series of The Hard West. Uh, this is going to be our probably last series in this scenario where we are accompanying uh, the father of Warren in finding a cure for his curse. We have uh, bought a couple of new weapons and we're now up to discover even more uh, potential cure mechanisms. Uh, the party arrived in front of an Indian tipi decorated with large skulls. Uh, a burly Indian man covered in scars sat in the middle of the tent, the floor beneath him stained a dark red. Red Coyote neither smiled nor greeted them. Uh, it took the boss a few minutes to realize he was blind despite uh, the intense way he stared at them. Red Coyote cut him off, jumping to his feet, uh, grabbing his gravedigger by the throat. He see seemed outraged that he had arrived without a tribute. Was gathered that they could assure a tribute by providing 10 Ginseng rolls. Okay. Well, well, where do we get the Ginseng roots from? I think the plant uh, plantation had Ginseng roots. And. It also had, yeah, first of all, here are the ginseng roots, yes. And second of all, here is tobacco, yes, please. Uh, did we have opium as well? Oh shit, yeah, the opium here is expensive though. Uh, we're just selling all of our opium because we need to get new opium anyways. Let's get some cash instead. Good, we're still okay on cash. We got the ginseng. Sort of interested we just bought three of them or ten because i could have sworn i saw ten but i might be wrong no we only bought three apparently there hadn't been any more which leads us to the opium then because there uh, we will get the nice little opium And maybe some more ginseng, who knows. Yeah, but it's expensive here. Gosh, everything's expensive here. Even the opium is expensive here. Well, that certainly is not a good place to shop. Okay, we have a safe location apparently. Bottle of liquor. Um, that's not cheaper than anywhere else. And the opium is even more expensive. Oh my gosh. There is a safe location. We're going to eat with everyone. I'm surprised to see a safe location. Let's see what exactly we're going to do. After hours of searching, the post found a place the old soldiers had spoken of, a rotten oak in the base of a hill. Excited, they looked inside of the tree. There it was, a giant steel safe full of treasures plundered during the Civil War. The undertaker accepted to, attempted to crack the safe. Tumblr was set to 0001. Oh shit. The code was wrong. Damn. The code consisted of five rotations, each in an alternating dir direction. Well, I did not pay any attention. to 
the uh, the actual code. Well, maybe it was my mistake. Gosh. All right, moving to town, maybe we can find some ginseng here. So ginseng for 10 is actually still pretty, pretty expensive. We can trade in some tobacco. I really don't want the ginseng for that much money. I think we're just taking food instead. A day costs us 16 gold. Because that's 4 gold per person in the pause. We still need to find the, gin, uh, the ginseng. And we're wasting valuable time. We haven't found it in the opium den. Maybe it is just that expensive. I would like to get the, uh, the safe um, the safe combination. Going to the caravan. Let's trade a little bit. Food is much more expensive here. Everything is much more expensive here. Ginseng costs 13. That's ridiculous. Going back to the ghost town, and we'll sleep here. Okay, can we communicate with the dead? Eight liquor, five tobacco, five opium. What's missing? 8 liquor, 5 tobacco and 5 opium. I think we got most of that. Probably the opium is missing. Uh, 5 liquor, 8 tobacco. Yeah, we need 5 opium. We need 5 opium and we need a lot more cash. Yeah, the opium is super expensive here. Plus he hasn't restocked, so... That worries me a little bit. Fifteen for a dose of opium, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere here. That's a bummer. There is Ginseng, but Ginseng seems to be extremely expensive items received three dose of opium three for food portions okay interesting so i mean opium here is somewhat affordable we wanted to have five of uh, five dose of opium um so that's the one thing that we're buying. I guess still no ginseng here. So we're not going to town 
Well, let's communicate with the ghosts first. Are you kidding me? So, it said five opium pipes, tobacco bags, and eight liquor. Okay, eight liquor, five tobacco, and five opium. What am I missing? So, five. Oh, well, it says dose of opium. I suppose that is an opium pipe. A pipe. A bottle of liquor and five tobacco. Probably it really needs five opium pipes. I have no idea where to get these from. But I do have an idea how we can maybe earn some more money. Because we could trade for some wood and make little figurines again. Let's go for 14. We always need two to make something out of them. Ginseng is available for 10 here. So we need 10 Ginseng. We have three, so let's buy seven more. Good. We got the Ginseng, but we're out of money and I really want to make sure that we can carve something. Eagle of Marksmanship. Coyote Figure. It just takes us time. I'm not sure if we're overall, if it's worth doing that because we're effectively losing four, um, uh, four of our uh, re rations every time we do that. Let's see if the gin mill allows us to trade back some of our figures, uh, figurines. Well, I mean, it's okay. It's kind of 20 each. I guess overall somewhat worth it, but it's such a minor profit, so it certainly doesn't pay out. Let's get our humble offering uh, to this guy. The red coyote party uh, arrived in the front of the Indian tipi decorated with large skulls and we gave him 10 ginseng. Red coyote accepted the tribute but it didn't seem to oppress his demeanor. He snarled something about providing their metal and hunt for bear with a broken skull. Kill bears, uh, kill the bear with a broken skull somewhere in the mountains. Well, okay, here we go, mountains. The Undertaker discovered a waterfall, a human skeleton lay on the edge of uh, the stuck on a rock. An old worn out purse was still attached to its belt, it held a gun and uh, tightly in its dead fingers. Uh, we're grabbing the purse, the gun, the purse, the purse. Picking up the purse disrupted the skeleton, the arm broke loose and it disappears in the water along with the weapon. But we got 85 uh, cash, which is better than nothing. The group entered a giant cave, not out home of a host of bed spiders and snakes. Near the entrance located a burned out fireplace. Uh, the man had an official looking at her of clothes. Harrison found a note in the pocket. Kishman, I'm worried the rebels will attack the bank. Be sure to change the safe code to 3232. Well, thank you. Um, entered the cave carefully uh, without illuminating their way. 
They saw gold nuggets shining in the darkness near the entrance. And we got ourselves 40 cash. That is good. Mountains again. Everyone eats. No one needs to go hungry to bed. A giant of a bear with a festering wound on its head charged furiously towards the Undertaker. Undertaker managed to kill the monster and recover its skull. An old rifle bullet was uh, lodged in the dead animal's eyebrow. There had been a landslide here uncovered, but it seemed unique uh, minerals in the bedrock. Some said there were never more blue stones here. Others said looters had depleted and deposited them years ago. Dense fog uh, obscured the area. The post arri uh, arrival uh, startled a, a coyote, which ran uh, um, off with something in its mouth. All right, Harrington lured uh, the coyote with uh, a provision. They set up a bait and waited behind a rock. When the animal approached uh, the meal, they tried to shoot it, but the coyote was too fast. It snatched the food, but left behind a strange medallion. An ear necklace. Okay, well, that's good enough. Let's go to the red coy coyote. You got your skull, buddy. Legendary bear skull rolled towards the red coyote's feet. The shaman nodded slowly and began an eerie chant. He smeared the blood from his wounds onto the Undertaker, threw some of the red dirt at him and began dancing and chanting. Finally, he, uh, he fell silent. Shemin assured the Undertaker that his burden should now be eased. The gravedigger wasn't convinced. The post came across a very particular man who walked slowly and clumsy and stank of death. The cart, uh, soon in his clothes, read uh, severe engraves. The man walked straight up to the Undertaker and handed him an envelope. When he asked about the content, he pointed towards the suit shut mouth and walked away. The Undertaker opened the envelope. A letter elaborately script read, I hear you're trying to find me. I'm told you're a handsome man and I fancy the pleasure of your company and closed other directions to my home. It's in a swamp, but a cozy one. Elena, the steam nurse. Okay. So we got the last one of the three. Um, thinking about, we have a lot to sell. Probably we'll have two more fights. So let's start this one. The group arrived at the hut made out of rotten planks and moss. Dozens of candles lit the interior in a cozy fashion. The walls were decorated with herbs and jars filled with an eerie specimen. They were greeted by an elderly and attractive dark-skinned woman. The uh, seamstress seemed to know uh, why they came. She explained that to help them she needed to look... Uh, she needed a lock of hair from someone who died in a massacre. Well, we can provide that. Oh, wait a second, before we do anything else. Oh, no, no, no. 3 2 3 2. That's the right combination, guys. Tempted to crack the safe. 3 2 3 2 3. Shit. Let's try it, let's try it again. 3 2 3 2 2. Okay, still not working. Maybe I've uh, missed it. Um, so it's three, two, three, two, something. Okay. Well, three, two, three, two, one. There was a distinctive click as the safe opened. The soldiers had been right. It was full of treasures. They took it all and left hastily. Oh my gosh, 200. That's a lot for this scenario. It's a, it's a freaking lot. Let's see what the Fate Trader has to say to that. Has he already restocked uh, his wares? I think the answer is no. 
No, but the answer is the holy musket is finally in reach. We don't need an ear necklace. But having the holy musket is a very, very good starting point. And having like the snake leather boots would be even a better starting point. I love the extra damage it provides. So that's pretty good. This here is also pretty good. 10 defense, 1 damage. Just as the expense of luck. That's not bad either. Okay, so our sniper now takes the holy musket instead of his normal musket. I think we're going to stay with the plus 50 luck um, item. His aim reduces itself to 40, but that's okay. Uh, he has more damage and more movement. Like giving him a decent movement actually helps a lot. Yeah, and we gave him a decent weapon as well. So everyone now has somewhat of a de decent weapon, with the ex exception of him. You know what? Let's change that. He gets the actual decent weapon. Yeah, that's much better. And we get ourselves, I think, two new cards. And I somewhat have the feeling that when we're now looting the ma uh, the massacre location, we might end up uh, triggering some sort of an encounter. Okay, so first of all, we got um, uh, the exchange helps with a different character. And also bonus one hit point. That isn't too bad. I think we can give it to him because we're now looking at six hit points. Well, you know, by thinking about it, let's not do it. Let's... Oh, we're, we're doing it. It costs a lot of luck, but it is a good skill. Uh, we got the scavenger plus 10 bonus luck which now brings us to four of a kind plus 15 aim he is up to 90 aim uh, that's pretty pretty good and we got smell blood making it appear yeah that's good i like it everyone had a, has a card bonus and some meaningful abilities And the Undertaker has 90 luck. He certainly does not miss his targets. Let's go for the Ghost Town. One, two, three, four, and get some sleep. The Undertaker is set among the graves of his dearest friends and enemies. Undertaker exhumated one of the bodies, obtaining a lock of hair from one of the cursed victims. The Undertaker couldn't bring uh, himself to exhuman his friends. Instead, he uncovered Bloomberg, the local gambler, and, uh, and perfume Aficiando. His body was a foul-smelling pile of rot. With a grimace, the Undertaker retrieved the locket from his hair and reburied him. The Undertaker said, I'm on the grave, blah, 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 blah. We already had that. So let's... Con no. I unfortunately clicked onto the town. That was a mistake. Well, whilst we're here, I was about to say, let's get some decent, decent items, but apparently that's not the case. The plus 50 uh, maximum luck, however, seems like a pretty uh, solid choice. 
Let's just use that. It's better than the 35 luck that we do have. All right, the Undertaker presented old uh, seamstress with a lock of hair. The witch mixed the hair with herbs and uh, was muttering a spell in an unknown tongue. She spent many hours uh, at it before giving up. She said she had never seen a curse this strong. It was though it came from the Lord of Hell himself. She knew no way of lifting it. Before the Undertaker could reply, uh, the seamstress touched Harrington's forehead and he fell unconscious. When he awoke, uh, his aging eyesight was uh, rejuvenated and he felt reborn. Time for the Hermit's Hut, I suppose. Um, what exactly do we need? Pay another visit to the hermit. We did that. Thin column of acid smoke rose from the shabby hut, home of the uh, of Ephos the hermit. He greeted the boss and uh, in a, with a tired voice, telling them he already knew why they had come. The un uh, undertaker told of his unsuccessful expedition. The hermit smiled mysteriously, but did not reply. The undertaker begged, pleaded, uh, cursed, and threatened, but Empus was impenetrable. Resigned, the grave digger decided to return to Ghost Town and take his own life to avoid causing any more harm. Oh oh. The Anadeka prepared to end his life. Harrington returned from a patrol reporting increased cultist activity in the area. The Anadeka told him of the decision to end his life and asked for his help. Uh, reluctantly, Harrington agreed. The posse waited until uh, dusk, determined uh, to honor the Undertaker's last wish. The Undertaker decided he would not die tonight. He wanted to make sure his companions were ready to fight the cultists. Well, we are ready. So the story does not, uh, does not seem to have a good ending. Apparently no one could lift the curse. There is a fourth ace uh, that we could uh, take, which frees up this bad boy here. There's another king. Doing three of a kind means that I think he now has 215 luck. That's just incredible. Um, with four of a kind, he even has an aim bonus, which is even better. So he's at 75 aim. That's pretty impressive. I think we're overall good. Let's proceed to combat. That's the last send. The Undertaker asks Harrington to help to end his miserable existence. Your father asked Harrington to end his life. He saw no other way to protect the innocent from his curse. The old bounty hunter agreed, promising to give your father a proper burial. Uh, I'm 100% getting it, so... Oh. Well, we can't move anywhere, right? That sucks. And it seems that Oswald Harrington is incompetent and can't even kill him one, with one shot. The shot that was to kill your father only wounded him. The Undertaker's time had not yet come. He still had a larger <laughs> role to play. And now we saw a great evil approach. Well, A demonic prince intent on disturbing the peace of the dead. Your father reached for his weapon. He would battle the plague he had brought upon this land. It seems that the Undertaker can't do anything right, not even die properly. 
20 hit points. This is it, guys. One, uh, two, three, four. Well, that prince is supposed to be threatening. Are you serious? Okay. It is what it is. Ape is cocky and moves out. Why exactly do we have such a bad chance to hit him? Oh, the Demon Prince has 20% defense. That's it. Interesting. We are activating dodge. Just in case someone is going to attack us and here we go, seven points. Another five points. We're hitting him quite well. Time for the holy musket, I would say. Hits the bell and hits the prince. 10 damage, there we go. The demon prince fell dead, but not for long. What? What? He used his dark powers to take control of one of his followers. All right. So this guy thinks that he can come back over and over is that what I'm uh, what I'm getting there we go Good old Cannon Cavera. Three further, uh, further hits and the guy is almost down. Again, we're moving up. And the Holy Musket will do its holy duty and kill this guy. Oh really? Don't allow any altars to be cursed, optional. Well, I mean, uh, do we have any altars in here? Oh, these are the altars. Got you. So I guess what you're telling me is this guy is going to come back over and over and over again and it's our holy duty to just kill him. Well that's going to be easy. The only thing that I'm asking myself is it's, it's nice and easy if there's only one demon prince. But if that Demon Prince is going to fight us with multiple enemies at the same time, we're going to be in a very, very tough spot here. I like the idea of high ground, but unfortunately there is not enough here. Anyways. Did we just kill all of them?
Oh, so the next one's over there. Gotcha. Well, I guess he will need to come a little bit closer in order to enjoy our company. Let's use the time for some quick reloads. The Holy Musket is being reloaded. Oh, nice, and we got Transfusion, which means we get 20 hit points and that guy uh, gets only 6 back. Oh, that's, a, that's mean. Well, there is yet another Demon Prince. Talking about a follower, I su su uh, suggest that we kill the follower first. Do we have anyone who can take two shots? No, we can't. Well, but I do have an idea. Killing the follower is actually quite easy. There you go, cult is down. Oh, we can only uh, exchange our health with the character that, uh, that uh, which we're going to see. Oh, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's move out. Would you mind letting me know why exactly we can't see him? Because that doesn't really make any sense. It's 5 damage to an enemy not protected in sunlight. Well, he's going to laugh about 5 damage, bro. Yeah. Unless we can take 2 shots, I think he's going to curse the altar. That sucks, because there seems to be a line of side issue here. And I think that's really stupid. Because we should be able to see him. Not sure why that isn't really the case. Yeah, he doesn't have line of sight, so... Chris was hit for 10 damage. But he's now the cursing the altar. Full protection from the darkness was no longer possible. The demon prince approached the first brazier, and the fire disappeared. I would say fuck you, because that was really unnecessary. Ricochet shot. One. Two. Three. Four. Nope. One, two, three, four. Still no. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we will just need to kill him the old-fashioned way then there we go points of damage oh now you can see him well that's a bit late the demon prince and his followers were finally defeated I wanted to uh, get the optional reward. We almost had it. A day nearing the end was set up camp. It's time to distribute uh, the food. Well, we got a new card and 
the Undertaker lost his wounds as well. Apparently we just defeated the, uh, the Undead Prince. Well, the Undertaker dug graves for the cultists. Harrington uh, perused a map he'd found. The hideout was marked in the south. Uh, apparently it was a ranch that had been flooded on, now set in the middle of a swamp. Okay, got ourselves a nice little 190 cash. Um, which means we're going to the traveling salesman and see if he has restocked his offerings because another um, another weapon wouldn't be too bad. By the way, the holy musket, 10 damage, that was just awesome. This here is unfortunately not uh, what I was looking for. I mean, still, Eagle Elixir isn't bad. 10 aim is okay. Piercing ammunition is not what we would need at the moment. One damage is okay, but it's really nothing special. Eagle figure, it's fine. I'm still wondering why we couldn't do the whole opium thing. So, as I was saying earlier, he has restocked and there is the option for another Holy Musket, which I think is a phenomenal weapon, specifically against targets with so much health. So, that and the Cannon Caldera would go for 300. Um, let's take a look. Getting rid of a 6-shooter is 40 less. Getting rid of the uh, bone ri uh, bony rifle is another 40 less. So we're really looking at handing in all the cash that we do have. Under 10. I think it's still worth it. The high damage or high quality weapons are just pulling so much weight because if you can de uh, dish out enough damage, uh, the enemy is just not able to do anything against it. By the way, we now had uh, another, the, the, the fracture now gives us regeneration and we still have a third wound, but that's pretty much it. So getting the Ken Cadera, that's fine. And I think it's wasteful to give him that really nice holy musket. Let's instead give it to someone with more aim. I think it's pretty pretty well um, used for for this character here and instead give him the Cannon Cadera. All right. That way everyone has at least one good weapon. Our father uh, the, has now 200 luck, which is an enormous amount. If we can get Golden Bullet or another, another sniper skill, that wouldn't be too bad. We got ourselves bonus hit points. That's not uh, too bad either. I am thinking about maybe giving uh, this over here. Because then we do have six hit points and no one has, l has less than six hit points. I think that's a better choice. We really don't need any extra skills. It's more about the passive bone uh, bony at this point in the game let's finish the whole scenario the ranch has flooded in a couple of years back 
Waters never reduced, swarms were of insects buzzed all over the place. Unnerving noises came from the ranch, laughter, holes, gunshots and the sound of metal on metal floating across the water. Harrington suggested an early morning attack would catch their foes off guard. Of course, we needed to wait one more time. And since Ape Fleischer has such an uh, such a bad aim, we're giving him an extra an extra food. There we go. The ranch was accessible from three sides. The Undertaker approached from. Um, from a ruined farmhouse. Harrington went through the ruined farmhouse. We're taking the south through a large clearing. And I think that's a good start. One sniper plus one additional person on each side. Let's proceed to combat. All right, guys, that's probably the final fight of Harrington's chapter. Let's go. In the quest to lift his curse, the Undertaker headed to the Demon Prince Swamp's hideout. He and Harrington lay in wait until dawn, prepared to end the cult once and for all. I'm not sure the if they would be successful. The hideout at dawn. The altar where blood sacrifices were made gave the demon his ability to control his followers' bodies. They could destroy the altar or kill his disciples. Either one would stop the demon prince from resurrecting. The three vessels filled with the blood of his believers strengthened the demon's ungodly powers. Destroying these vessels would cripple the fiend. All right, we're moving in. We will definitely go for a kill-all approach here. I feel that's the only way to solve that scenario. So we probably need to put position him into a, a in a in a good spot. Like there are a lot of houses here and here. I feel positioning him somewhere inside here to have good shots might be the right tactic. Your hands up, buddy. Kill all cultists or destroy the blood vials. Well, I want to kill all cultists, of course. Destroying the blood vials is so incredibly helpful as well. Hmm. Hmm. Let's move in and take a look. There's one person over there. All right. 
right, moving in further. I'm pretty sure we can't destroy the blood vials without causing an incredible amount of disturb, uh, disturbing noises here. These guys here, by the way, all... can be killed with a chain shot. Who's the guy with chain shot? Uh, we have dodge. We have... Oh. 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 Guess who has a barrage? Well, I think we got the answer to how we're dealing with the situation. Everyone kind of readies their weapons. That's good. I like it. Next turn we're going to start. He can be killed. He can be killed. He can be killed. So we're going to start with a barrage. All right, there we go. Did we seriously just hit everyone down to one hit point? Well, that's disappointing. That sucks. I might take a shot. Yep, and we need to pull him back. Could kill the blood vial. We could also kill the prince, or at least injure him quite massively. All right, he has more than 70 luck apparently. Let's move in. We are. With the vessel shattered, the demon suddenly lost his vitality. We are going to destroy the blood vials. As the vessel fell apart, so did the demon's protective aura. So, moving further back, we finish one more of these guys. I really want to kill all of them, to be honest. Oh, wow. Well, I must say he has a lot of movement. That's for sure. I wasn't expecting that. I definitely wasn't expecting that. I figured he could maybe hit us. But I wasn't thinking that he could kill us with one shot. That was unexpected.
All right, let's reload. So I get it. The blood vessels are just making him less potent. But I wanted to kill all of them. A shame that our sniper just died. It's the first death since uh, the very initial um, setting that we had, the very first setting where I lost a single uh, group member. So it's the very first non-essential character effectively dying. I could totally could have um, prevented that. We even had a, man, a mandrake root to eat. It was just me not assuming that he could walk as far as he can. Ricochet shot into the back of the demon. There we go. Crippled his movement. Put him down to 1 HP. Kill the blood vial. Blood spilled on the floor, and the demon lost a bit of his speed. Okay, so we're reloading. Let's get the demon. He could not return. It was time to send this evil creature back to hell. There we go. Guess what, buddy? was no longer anchored in the realm of the living. With its demise, your father found a new path, a new ambition. His final destination, his place to find redemption, was now with you. Ooh. That is an unexpected ending, guys. Oh, hell yeah. We missed two alternative objectives, which is really um, a shame, because I like these extra weapons. Ah, so we missed two of them here. But that brings us to the last uh, scenario on Earth, as it is in Hell. Um, we are following Warren to its very last stand against uh, the Grave Danger. That's going to happen in the next um, in the next uh, session. Actually, I don't know if it's a full scenario or if it's just like a big end fight. Uh, since it still has three stars, we might as well see kind of a um, full scenario. I am very, very intrigued by that. The story has uh, evolved just so fantastically so far. A couple of the storylines are just the uh, story arcs are just like really, really well done. Um, and probably I f even found my favorite character, although he did not look like uh, much of a, of a uh, great character. I think I like the father the most, not only for his caring uh, nature towards Warren, but also because he just had like this cool personality that he is even too dumb to die. Um, they tried to shoot him in the back and even that failed. So there's kind of a hilarious notion to it. 
anyways see you in the next session and if you like the content leave a comment down below see you very soon bye bye